This is the IE600, Sennheiser's follow-up to the IE900 which we reviewed earlier on this channel. Here at the store, we think that the IE900 pushes the envelope in terms of the kind of technical performance you can get out of a single dynamic driver design. So we had high hopes that the IE600 could deliver some of that magic at a lower price point. Well, we had a brief window to evaluate the IE600 ahead of its official launch in Australia. And we're happy to report that not only does it preserve a lot of the magic of the IE900, there's been a few tweaks to the sound that give the IE600 a lot of charm in its own right. Let's start with what hasn't changed. The IE600 adopts the same basic shape as the IE300 and IE900 models, including the same ear tip and same basic cable design. So you can check out our previous videos for our comments on those aspects. The IE600's biggest change from the IE900 and the IE300 is the earpiece housing. While the IE300 has plastic earpieces and the IE900 employs CNC milled aluminium, the IE600 takes the exotic route of using 3D printed zirconium ear shells. Sennheiser has partnered with a facility in Germany to manufacture these earpieces and they're really quite an interesting innovation in this space. Sennheiser has emphasized the scratch resistance and durability of this housing and just like with how the IE900 proudly displays its construction with its prominent CNC milled aluminium shells, the IE600 showcases its zirconium housing with a unique, roughly finished surface that presents a nice iridescence from certain angles of light. Besides being very durable, the density and the low resonant properties of this material really tend to come through in the sound of the IE600 compared to the IE900. In our earlier review, I said that the IE900 was a beast in terms of technical performance with a rich, punchy sound that also presented everything with an additional layer of high frequency detail that made everything sound sort of hyper real. The IE900 is a high energy, sit up in your chair kind of listen. The IE600 preserves most of this technical speed and resolution, but that hyper real level of detail has been toned down by a few decibels, so the overall sound is more natural and laid back. The switch to zirconium seems to result in the IE600 having less high frequency harmonics. The sound is slightly duller, but I think in a good way because it makes the sound more forgiving. The IE600 is still a highly resolving IEM with a clearer, less congested sound than the IE300 and compared with similar high performance single dynamic driver IEMs like the new FIO FD7, the IE600 still delivers a flatter, more neutral tuning with that characteristic Sennheiser dryness in the high frequencies. It's just that when you compare the IE600 to the IE900, the 600 just doesn't have the same level of in-your-face intensity in terms of the detail. I think the additional high-frequency harmonics from the IE900 help create a uniquely wide soundstage and notably vivid imaging. I feel that this gives the flagship IE900 model a really magical ambience for classical, acoustic, and jazz recordings. However, I think the IE600 has a bit more of a versatile or round sound, and when you use it with the included foam tips, the sound becomes mellow enough to make the IE600 a well-balanced crowd pleaser for everything from electronic to orchestral. Which of the two you prefer will basically come down to your hearing and taste of music, and you'll also want to consider where this earphone might fit in your collection. To give you a comparison, the difference between the IE900 and the IE600 is a bit like the difference between the Focal Utopia and the Focal Clear. The Utopia has an extra level of zing and detail that some people love, whereas we get a lot of customers that also prefer the clear because it's a bit more mellow. Both focal headphones are very popular at their price points and we expect to see the same divergence of opinion with the IE600 and the IE900. So let us know in the comments what you think or pop into the store and have a listen yourself. This is Mini Disc TV and we'll see you next time.